Joshua said in the Old Testament, me and my house, we will serve the Lord. I say, uh uh-uh, we are are, are past that. We're in the New Testament. Give God a hand. Uh Uh-uh. It's not about me and my house. It's about me and my neighbor and my enemy. My mission and vision in life is to get my enemy to serve God. Give God a hand. (laughs) Hallelujah. If you're still busy with you and your house, you're still in your baby's shoes as a Christian. When you start to love your enemy, you reach maturity. Give Jesus a hand. A sign that a man is mature in Jesus and prospering as a Christian is when his previous enemies become his, his loyal friends. His previous enemies become his loyal friends. Amen. Okay. You see, sometimes we want to live a life because the Bible says that Jesus washed the church with his lifestyle. Give God a hand. If it wasn't for the life of Jesus, if it wasn't for the lifestyle of Jesus, we would have been unclean. In the same way, a father in the house cleans his house with his lifestyle. As he's been washed by Jesus, he cleans his house because he's the head of the home with his lifestyle. He can tell his children many stories. He can tell his wife many stories. But his wife and his children will never serve the Lord. They will never do what he tells them to do. They will do what he do. It's frightening how you can see yourself in your children. Wow. But I've got something better for you. you cannot, your lifestyle cannot save your children. The lifestyle of Jesus saves your children. Give God a hand. Because I made many mistakes in my life before I came to Jesus. And it looked like to me, like Satan is putting them out, um, my previous lifestyle. But I rebuke him because God forbid him. Amen. In Jesus' name. I can, I, I can condemn no one. I cannot judge no one on this earth. I cannot condemn the liar. I cannot condemn the thief. I can condemn no one. I can condemn no one because all these things I've done too. Now I've been forgiven and I've been saved and delivered from them. But how can I judge anyone who do these things if I've been forgiven of these things myself? Huh? You know, every time... I want to point my finger to another person. God, show me a picture of myself in the past. I says, I've forgiven you. Why do you want to condemn others? I say, sorry, Jesus. Sorry, Jesus. Are you still doing this? Huh? Are you still doing this on, face, on, on, on WhatsApp and Facebook? Accusing others and showing them how bad they are, how unworthy they are? Huh? Huh? Are you still doing that? Did Jesus not forgive you of your many sins and your many weaknesses? Are you not the judge to judge others after you've been forgiven and showed your mercy and kindness? Pray, Lord God of heaven, you have shown me great mercy and great kindness. I will condemn no one, but I will condemn sin. My fight is against sin. Say to your neighbor, my biggest enemy is sin. I will condemn sin and I will fight sin in Jesus' name. But I love the human race and I love the sinner in Jesus' name. Give Jesus' hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.